Hey, what's going on guys? The Jolts here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Broadsider. First off, we need to head to the USS Constitution located here on the map. Once you get there, talk to the lookout robot in front of the ship. Tell him that you want to help and he will let you on the ship. Once on the ship, head up to the top floor and see the captain. He will want you to talk to Bosun who is located one floor below you. Talk to him and he will want you to start repairing the ship. Now, this mission will either be quick and easy or slow and tedious depending on your intelligence. If you have at least 9 intelligence, you can burn right through this mission. First, you will need to replace the power cables. You can scavenge them by following the other waypoint or use your intelligence to fix it for free. Now go back to Bosun and he will request for you to fix the power relay coil. Again, fix it with your intelligence for free or follow the other waypoint and scavenge the part needed. After that, head back to the top deck. You will need to fend off a scavenger attack outside the ship. After clearing them out, talk to the navigator located inside the ship. He will want you to take a guidance chip back from the raiders. Head to the waypoint in front of the ship and you can find Mandy. Make sure when you talk to her you do not side with the raiders. Once she runs her mouth about how much she hates the ironsiders, head inside the building behind her and take the guidance chip back. Now they will get upset and start attacking you, so kill them off and head back to the navigator. He will request for you to find a Poseidon radar transmitter. You can either scavenge the part by following the waypoint, or use 9 intelligence to fix it for free. Now we need to go talk to the captain again. He will want you to scavenge one last part. He will also give you the key to the captain's quarters. You will have to go get this part because you cannot fix it with intelligence for free. Follow the waypoint all the way over to the Corvega assembly plant and head inside. Once inside, kill off a few raiders and get your final part. Go back to the USS Constitution and head back inside. Follow the waypoint to the captain's quarters and use the key on the door. Then install the turbo pump you just scavenged. Now we're just about done. Head back up to the top deck and talk to the captain again. You will then be attacked by raiders one more time. Take them out and talk to the captain. He will thank you and finally give you the broadsider. If you want, you can finish off the mission by pulling the switch outside the ship. You will then see the ship fly off and crash into a building. Yeah, you just did all that work to repair their ship and then they just destroy it. Great. Now this weapon is pretty good. It uses cannonballs as ammo. Cannonballs can be obtained by lootable sources and is also rarely sold by vendors. You can get some guaranteed ones after doing the quest Old Guns for the Minutemen. If you head to the castle tunnels during that quest, you can find some on a shelf. As for upgrading this weapon, you can't add much to it. The only nice upgrade is adding a bigger magazine size. Overall, this weapon does a lot of damage and can really wreck your enemies. The only downside is the slow fire rate and also the ammo is hard to find. So let me know what you guys think about this weapon. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know below. Anyways, this is Jolts. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like, cause that'd be epic, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.